Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose and this is your reading for August 14th through the 20th, 2022. Let's just get right into it, pulling your oracle cards. Also, if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification button. And remember that I don't solicit, so I will never, you know, hit you up asking you if you like a reading. Um, if someone does that and they have my name, that is a scam. However, if you like to contact me, I love to talk, so drop me a message. We have the full moon in Libra. So Libra, you are very present. Like you are in your truest form, your truest self here. I love it when everyone makes an appearance in their own readings. Um, that is amazing find a balance because ultimately that's what you know that's that's you right always trying to find a balance you're always trying to find out a reasoning also like why um i don't want you to focus so much on the why sometimes we can't even get that answer especially when it involves other people i want to talk about closure because spirit is giving me that word so closure so when we talk about closure um closure is something no one else can give you because even if they say exactly what you want to hear you're gonna look into it deeper and say but why right why did you need to do that it'll it'll be an endless cycle for you so I want you to be able to close your own doors you be in charge of your own closure it doesn't matter what the other person has to say it, it doesn't matter their reasoning why they hurt you um, what matters is is that you're able to move on don't give someone else the power right because that's you relinquishing your power when you seek closure from somebody else closure happens when you're ready to go into the next phase of whatever it is you're going through we also have the new moon in leo and it's your time to shine again by taking your power back by finding that balance within yourself you're creating that closure you're moving forward let's see what the tarot has to say um the tarot could talk about love business generalities you know i go with whatever spirit guides me and let's just go forward oh right away oh two cards here i love this for you because right here this dictates what i was just saying with the oracle cards and what my spirit guides were giving me. We do have the Ten of Wands here and along with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is, is making a decision. The Queen of Swords is a balance here. You see she has one hand holding a sword with her other hand ex extended. She's creating that balance. Either she's welcoming or she's going to, you know, let you know not to play with her <laughs> with that sword. Ten of Wands, burdens are ending. Uh, I love that for you. Let's see here. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Temperance card. Let's go here. Oh, the Six of Cups. Clarifying the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Again, just reiterating the fact what I was telling you about not seeking closure from someone of the past. We have the Ace of Swords clarifying that King of Wands, New Beginnings, we love Aces. And we have the Chariot card along with that Temperance card. Um, and our third pile is Major Arcana, which tells me that um, you're definitely finding your equilibrium. We have Temperance, which is all about balance and our emotions. We have the Chariot, which is about balance. You're controlling the speed of those forces you're creating. You're the charioteer. So you dictate the balance between those two horses to move forward into your victory. Love that, Hierophant. Spiritually guided at this time. And maybe that's what's bringing the balance for you. I'm not seeing a relationship <clears throat> or finance here. This is about you finding your way. You're navigating yourself. I think that you're in a self-discovery mode. Um, and this is what we see here. We have the Hermit card clarifying um, the Ten of Wands, the Ace. Ten of Wands. Uh, the Ten of Wands, the... The Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. 
we have the Two of Swords clarifying uh, the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles clarifying Temperance and the Chariot. We have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> and let's just get started here. In our first column, we have Ten of Wands with the Queen of Swords. This is you leavening your own burdens. You're releasing. And this is about you releasing, you know, the, again, that closure. That's what I got in the beginning uh, from the past. I think you've made the decision that, you know, you're, you're going to take your power back. You're going to be this Queen of Swords and you're going to be like, uh, no, it's about me. I have control and I'm taking it back. I'm no longer letting my past dictate with the Six of Cups, um, you know, how I move. I'm going to move what's in my best interest. This has taken a lot of self-introspection with that Hermit card. You know, you are really digging deep and you're finding your direction um, with that star in the lantern. You're finding your happy place. You're finding yourself. That's what you are seeking, your true self in your power. And you're achieving that. I mean... For a while there, you were, you know, lacking direction here with that Two of Swords, clarifying this King of Wands and Ace of Swords. This Ace of Swords tells me you're going to find, you're going to find your way, right? It's mental clarity. It's new ideas. It's new beginnings um, in reference to our minds. So our, our ideas, our um, discernment, and our clarity. So, yeah. You, you've had to make a decision and you were on the fence a little bit about it, but I think you finally made that choice and you chose to be this king of wands in control, very controlled, very calculated, kings are calculating, and following your passions. Um, and I love that for you. In our last column here, we have the temperance card, so you finding your balance, along with the chariot card. This is happening quick for you. Like you're feeling your energy. So this tells me definitely that this week and even into the following week, you are very controlled, right? You are very into your own power, your own energy. Um, and that balance is going to come quickly. You know, I don't want you to be afraid uh, because, you know, my guys gave me the word fear. So I don't want you to be afraid of, you just waking up one day and the fog lifting like it's almost a shock uh to you so uh this could be some shocking news or something or just yeah you're gonna hear something is what my spirit guides are giving me um and i don't want it to make you take a step back because you have done this hard work represented here by the seven of pentacles because you're taking a step back from whatever it is you're going to hear or feel, because we have this Tempest card here, um, you, it, you may have to like relook at things, but you're not taking a step back. You're going to look at things in your power. So you are in control. Just remember that. <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant card and we have ju Judgment. This is transformational for you, right? This is a transformational time of you... Uh, being strong in your spirituality and making sure that you are following your own um, dreams, hopes. We have temperance at the in the back of this five of pentacles, and then we have the nine of swords behind it. This is telling me that this has been a hard journey, and you've had to do it alone, right? It's you know it, again you're taking the control back. So if you had a bad breakup. Uh, if you had trouble in your family life, you've had to navigate your life by yourself for a while now. And it's been difficult and hard. And it's something you didn't want to have to do. Uh, you wanted to be with this person or you wanted to be connected to your family or close friends. Um, but you had to, you know, pick yourself up and dust yourself off many, many times. It's been a journey for you. It really has. One plagued with emotional imbalance and a lot of depression and sadness, but you are turning that page because it is your time to shine because you're finally putting the puzzle pieces together. And this is your reading. I am Delilah Rose. Thank you for joining me.